Hello my acquaintances. Today we're gonna be opening the Why Are You Teletubbies shoes. These are not the boots. I don't know if they ever released the boots. I saw the uh, the post about the boots and it just said coming soon and then they never made another post saying they come out. And I want them really bad. And this pink bag, also perfect for Valentine's Day. This box is very long and very short, which is kind of weird. Um, I'm thinking maybe this is the backpack, which I also want on. But the backpack wasn't supposed to ship yet, and it said that it was this was the shoes that shipped. So. We're gonna have to find out. It doesn't look like a custom box, so it's not a big deal. Um, I feel like it looks like just a plain white box, and I feel like they could have done a lot more with it. It's a Teletubby collab. I mean, come on now. You know your audience. Just a standard, why are you? I'm gonna shake the bag a bit. Make sure there's no stickers or extra tags or anything. The box is a little bit beat up, but that's just shipping for you. So it's got like a metallic silver box. Pretty plain, if you ask me. Standard tissue paper as well. These stinks. I'll be honest with you. It smells bad. There's the wrapping paper. It just has again the silver YRU label. Let's let's pull one out. These are heavy. I was looking at the label. They're five pounds. They're hefty. Fellas. This is my first pair of YRU shoes as well. Ah. Just plopped right out. Among a, among, among, the red shoes is Poe. I feel I got I chose Poe because I felt I'd get the most wear out of them. Because my other red shoes that I have are very close to falling apart. Like when I'm wearing them, my shoe my my foot's basically touching the ground and uh, if it's raining or anything th it's in there so that's why I chose Poe over the other colors and Poe is also was like probably my favorite Teletubby Poe or Tinky Winky um This, on the shoe, he does kind of look like an Among, Among Us shoe. But I'm hoping this will differentiate. And they've got this, like, silver reflective stuff on the side and also on the, the little screen. And then it has 
the Teletubbies logo in the back. Is this embroidered? It is. And then, I believe this is a 5 inch uh, platform and it's got the grippy bottom so that you don't slip. These are size 5. But I think since they're so thick, uh, they'll fit me quite nicely. My other size 5 platforms from Strange Colt, love them. Don't get me, don't get it twisted. However, um, they don't fit me very well. I have to tie them really tight or else they slip and slide. These also have, uh, like, kind of like ice skater lace, laces. So, if you don't want to, you can just tie it down at the bottom, or if you want more of that ankle support, you can tie it across the front. But, if you want the tongue to be more visible, um... Ooh, it's kind of got some glitter in it as well. I don't know if you'll be able to tell with this on. There are you on the inside as well. And there he is. Uh, yeah, so Poe's a classic character. And I feel like I'll get the most wear out of these. These are this fuzzy material. I don't know if I mentioned it before yet. Um, I've kind of been skipping around here with what I'm talking about. Okay, so same situation on the other side. There's some labeling on the bottom. It's on both of them. I don't know what it what it really means. So I figure I'll try them on. And With the boots, I'll talk about the boots while I'm putting them on, so I don't have to edit out, like, just, like, five minutes of me putting shoes on. With the Teletubby boots that why are you teased, and they're, they're already teasing a new Tubby Custard shoe. Ooh, these fit, like, perfectly. It's really hard hard for me with shoe sizing because in some shoes I'm literally like a toddler three and then some shoes like a six is comfortable. I'm gonna tie these yeah I am gonna tie these underneath the tongue because you know why would I cover that? up those ones I'm hoping to get somewhere out of them because I figure I'm spending a little bit of money on them but um I'm probably not gonna wear those that much because those ones are more of a collector piece they look mm, they're more resembling of like a, okay, so I tied them and then I just tucked the loops, like, from tying them on the, um, this part. Um, what am I saying? Oh, they're more like an irregular choice shoe, but if I had irregular choice shoes, I would also wear those. I'd get, like, those clear sole protector things. When these aren't, like, all in the line up of the Teletubby shoes, there's not much... I mean, there's not much they can do, because, you know, Teletubbies are just color head thing. And, uh... 
the screen. These ones are probably the least recognizable because uh, his like head symbol is just a circle. Whereas like Dipsies or Lala's would have been very... Or even Tinky Winkies. So these are actually really, really wearable. Because they've not got much going on. They've got the Teletubbies logo in the back. I feel like they could have maybe done something more with these. But I'm a fan regardless because obviously their big Teletubby shoe is going to be the big boot. And then the Tubby Custard backpack is very Teletubbies. The Tubby Custard shoes though, they're not that Teletubbies. I'm not... I'm not really considering those. So anyways, this is what they look like with the laces all the way up. And with this, with it like this, you can't really even see the, the, the telly on them. So I think from a design standpoint, it would have made a lot more sense to put this sticking up from the tongue and put the telly down here or like in the middle here because that's how they they are anyways this is on their head and then this wouldn't be covered up if it was like here between the laces or here at the bottom uh but you know they work as for teletubby shoes i like them less but as for just shoes, uh, I like them a lot. So, holy crap. Okay, maybe, maybe they don't fit me that good. I'll, I'll be cautious. Um, but yeah. Well, it's, it's such a simple concept. They really work better as a group. So if like you and like three of your friends got them, it, they would all look really cool. But just alone, I feel like you can't really tell what they are. Let's get into it. Review style. Jing. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Listen, they were protected, but it was very standard packaging. Like, it's a little bit custom, like it is you packaging instead of just nothing packaging but I don't know I feel like other collabs of a lot smaller brands and a lot like less expensive brands they just pull out a lot more stops so packaging is a 3 out of 5 and the price, I'm going to give a 4 out of 5. I shouldn't give it a 3 out of 5. But I'm getting it a 4 out of 5 because um, it's, it's like the same price as their standard shoes. And it's for like a limited collab. So I think it's nice that they didn't make it more expensive just because it's like... A, like a collab it's not it's not good but it's a, a little better than average they could definitely charge more get away with charging more for these quality which kind of goes hand in hand with price I'm gonna give the quality a four out of five it it's hard to judge quality on something so simple like this so you have to really go in there's some strings uh, uh, and some rough edges on a, a couple places I'm just not gonna give it a 5 out of 5 because they're not perfect you know but they're still really nice they're really comfortable all of that the design is something that I also have a problem with and I feel like that kind of goes in with quality shipping it 
it's hard for me to judge shipping because when I ordered these, they weren't pre-order. But, like, the backpack said it was pre-order and these did not say they were pre-ordered. I ordered these in November, it's February. Um, I'm gonna give him a 3.5 out of 5 for shipping instead of a 3 or like a 2 because I'm just going to assume that the website wasn't updated and they were technically on pre-order by the time I placed my order because sometimes website inventory can get a little wonky so for a pre-order that's not so bad um but for like regular shipping I feel like it's kind of bad because the backpack was on pre-order when I ordered it and it got, they like made a post on Instagram saying they received the backpacks from the pre-order like a couple days ago and it's already shipping. So our overall score, which, so for packaging three plus price a four plus quality a four plus shipping a 3.5 equals one by four so all together they get a 3.6 out of 10 which I feel like is fair I hate to say it for the price, but I feel like they're like just what I was expecting. They're about exactly what I was expecting. I'm not like blown away. I like them and I'm gonna wear them, but they're not like, like I'm a, a little disappointed. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like they're just a little bit plain for my liking. So, anyways, you know to buy, subscribe. See you later, all you haters.